I'm starting off this DIY with acrylic photo frames from the Dollar Tree. I always see a lot of these photo frames and I've always wanted to do a project with them. I have two projects in mind, but for today's video, I'm going to be making a 3D wall with them. And I'll start by removing the paper and the protective film. Because I would love to have the reflection of what I'm going to be making, I'm going to be spray painting just one side of the photo frames. The size of the wall you want to cover will determine how many of these you would get. I got 28 because it's what I'll be needing for my wall. After I was done removing the paper and the protective film, I took it out and I spray painted just one side gold. And that side is the inner side of the photo frame. I brought them back in when they were dry. And as you can see, one side here is fully covered while the other side has a reflection. So that's what I was going for, the reflection for the 3D wall. I'm gonna keep this aside and then take foam boards, attach them together, cut it down to size and then spray paint it. Now I'm going to be attaching the acrylic photo frames on the foam board. This is the design that I was going to go with initially, but then I figured out another way that I was going to have a 3D design that I would like. And all I'm going to be doing is making sure that I have two lower ends meet. And then as the design goes on, the higher ends are going to meet as well. These are not heavy, so I'll be using hot glue to attach them to the foam boards. I'll be adding borders around what I just made and you can use either strips from a foam board or PVC strips from the hardware store and cover it up with gold tape. I mounted everything on the wall with little tack nails. Now I don't like the lines that I see in between the photo frames so I'm going to be covering that with mirror backsplash that I got for a different project entirely. But I will sacrifice just one and cut out strips from this and cover up the lines that I have on my design. Hey guys, YouTube Essentials here. I am thrilled to announce that I'll be featuring smaller channels on my channel for free. If you're passionate about DIY and want to showcase your amazing projects to a larger audience, this is your chance. It's an opportunity for talented creators with less than 100,000 subscribers to get the exposure they deserve. Now with this, you have increased exposure and you know what? There are exciting prizes to be won in a monthly contest ranging from $500 to even $1,000. So for more details on how to participate, please check out the community tab on my channel and the description box below in this video. I cannot wait to see the incredible projects you all come up with because I am really rooting for those awesome DIY creators that are not viewed and appreciated enough. So let's keep those videos coming and stay creative.
Here's what the mirror tiles did to my design. To make this entirely budget friendly, you can substitute the mirror tiles for either diamond wrap or large adhesive gems that they sell at Walmart. The mirror tile that's in silver has complemented the silver decor that I have in this space. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos. If you're interested in other ways to decorate your home on a budget, they're all going to be in the playlist down in the description box below. And for those of you who have not subscribed to my channel, I am so glad to have you here. Now, before you leave, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.